Good afternoon, everyone in Redeemer land and the Redeemer family and people joining us on the internet around the world. Uh, we're going to be uh, talking about the epistle reading for this week. And the epistle reading for this week is Philippians chapter 1 and all the way from verse 1 through 18. Um, the epistle reading excludes verses 5 to 13, but I'm going to include that in the reading because I think it's an important part of this passage. If there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross." Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Even if I am poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrificial offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with you all. Likewise, you also should be glad and rejoice with me. <clears throat> Just today, I got a, a text message from our district president here in North Wisconsin. Um, you know, asking me about our, um, our choir director and bell choir director, uh, Ruth Borkard, that he had heard from uh, somebody very familiar with Ruth uh, about Ruth's skills and talents and asked if she might be available to help you know, work with the people in the Green Bay area for our district convention to uh, work on you know, choir for them. And, uh, I was um, both uh, proud and, and happy to share with him that uh, you know Ruth was excellent, and uh, not only that, uh, highly skilled and a humble servant as well. You know that we were very blessed to have her doing our music here at Redeemer, uh, and it's always wonderful to hear that someone in your midst is thought highly of. And I want us uh, to think of that as, as Paul is, is speaking that because he's giving the Philippians you know, something to shoot for because he wants to be proud of them. He wants to have them spoken well of, have them uh, thought well of you know, in, while he's there and when he's not with them. And, you know, every pastor wishes that of, of the members of his congregation that they too are thought well of both when he's with them and when he's not with them. That's what we all wish, wish as Christians, that things go well with God's people, that God's people do those things that are a blessing to other people. You know, listen to what Paul begins with in this chapter of Philippians. 
If there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. And then Paul goes on to describe you know, the ways to do that. And, and what a blessing it would be if every congregation and every group of Christians could live in absolute harmony and give a, a message both in their actions and in their words of the reason to glorify Christ. You know, Paul encourages us to have the same mind Jesus had. Listen to his words. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking on the form of a servant, being born in likeness of men and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. So what we strive for is humble service. Humble service out of gratitude to the service that we have received from Christ. The service we have received from Christ to the humility that he took to the cross. The humility in the form of a servant going in our place, suffering in our place, dying in our place, to free us from sin and death and to give us life. He had nothing in it to gain for himself, but only to what he could gain for you and me. And as he gained that for our salvation in the form of a servant, may we in the form of servants serve joyfully, faithfully, happily, courageously, cheerfully, to serve our master the way that he served us, to love and to show the love of Christ so that we might be thought well of, not only within our church, but outside of it as well, shining as lights in our community and in our world with the message of Jesus Christ for all to see. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we give you thanks that you were a servant to us. You were a servant by taking all our sins upon yourself and suffering and dying with them to set us free from sin and death and to give us life everlasting. You did this not because of what it was in it for you, but because of everything that was in it for us. Help us in gratitude and love toward you serve you by serving others, to be lights in the world in which we live, to show and share Jesus by living lives of love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings, everyone. Have a, a blessed Wednesday, a hump day, and we'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's devotion.